Yeah, my name is Jacob, and I am an artist here in uh, New York. And what I'm going to present is uh, three different projects, and I'm mainly going to speak about kind of my inspiration on how I made them, because I only have five minutes. Um, and the general interest of my work is kind of how imagination, technology, and ecology intertwine with one another. Um, and this should play a video clip in a few seconds. Yeah, so uh, I only have five minutes, so that was a very short uh, video clip from my work that's called A Cartography of Fantasia, and it is a two-screen video installation that I developed with an art center in Spain called uh, A8DK. And to make this work, I rented a car and filled it with cameras and provisions, and then I spent two months driving around this big desert area that has about 100 abandoned tourist assaults and a big airport that's never been used, and they were all built morbid enough right after the financial crash actually in 2008. And my general interest was kind of how these imaginations about uh, tropical south had been commercialized and eventually transformed entire ecosystems and landscapes into this like ver alien um, world. So when I interviewed people there and spoke with the locals, they had a very negative view, even on me a little bit as a foreigner coming there, but in general, mostly all the tourists. Um, so. I mapped all the places I filmed with a GPS coordinates that in the video are like looping and moving around and later with these uh, Google Maps that I used to uh, retrace my journey through the landscape. So it kind of feels like this alien that goes through the world. So uh, that was a short clip from a recent work I made, and it's called Primal Tourism. And what it is, it's a real-time simulation of the entire island of Bora Bora, so it's four times four kilometers. Um, and in this work, uh, I, I was looking at different, sourcing all the images that I built the island of based on other people's imagery. So I looked at tourist photographs shared online. I looked at natural scientific illustrations that were kind of projecting what the future ecology would be like. And I modeled the whole thing after uh, satellite images, like looking top down, looking down. And I also looked at drawings from the Dutch explorer Jacob Roggeveen that went there in 1722 uh, and how they were drawing the island. So I made these different narratives around this whole island while you're exploring it that tell these stories of tourism, colonialism, and kind of technology merged together. Um, and then I also built these installations you walk around in in many different ways. Usually they're tailored for the specific space I show. So that work is called Terratic Animism. It is from New York Media Center, where I showed it in February. And it's a three-screen video installation, as well as a costume and a virtual forest that you explore in VR. Uh, this is my costume. And I made this while I was artist in residence at, at a Massachusetts Museum of Contemporary Art last year. And what I did was that I built this. I was very interested in this kind of site, guys, that was in pop culture and science and different things about a kind of post-apocalyptic eco-future uh, so I made this mylar material costume that's also developed by NASA for like surviving and preserving heat in extreme temperatures. And then I just explored the forest and then I recreated in VR in something called Unreal Engine. I rebuilt some of these locations. And then in VR you're walking around this forest and then you see these screens with my own videos inside of it. And um, what I was start to think about while I was traveling through the landscape and kind of inside my own brain was how I felt like I was doing some kind of morbid animism in a way, um, inspired by all these digital media. 
So that is what I will explore. Probably my next work and more performance and have these weird, um, I don't know, myth stuff in it. Yeah, thank you.